Michelle, I know, is a big Arsenal fan. And Michelle, this has affected you badly. Good morning. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, Simon. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Michelle. What, what did you think when you first saw this, Michelle? I couldn't watch it all. I, I just, I felt sick. I felt, um, I felt, I just felt sick. I still do now. I'm not somebody that cries often, but I, I just cried. I just, and that might sound, sound weak to some listeners, but it's, it's, it's abhorrent what he's done. He's, you know, the cat, the cat that he's hurt, they can't speak to him. Animals can't speak and say, you know what, you really hurt me. I'm in an agony. Please go to the hospital. You, they, they can't speak. So how an he know in his statement that they're happy and fine? A cat, an animal, through that level of abuse, Jim, is not fine. But he, that cat is not fine. And somebody needs to go and save those cats from that. Because it, even if it's happened once, which I'm sorry, I find so hard to believe with cruelty to animals it could just happen once the, the cat needs to be they need to be taken and him as a footballer i work with children and i see footballers are their heroes whether or not i agree with that whether or not society agrees with that they're heroes to our children not all children but a lot of our children and just to echo what the other caller said is this what is this how they think you should treat animals are they going to look at this and think Okay, well, that's how you, that's how animals should be treated. You know, I'm not, I'm, that might seem quite extreme, but that's the wider picture for me. But I, I've li- I'm literally falling out with football. Football is my first love, and sometimes it's been my only love. And all I'm seeing in the last month are footballers, whether or not they're proven to be guilty or not, it's coming out, and it's just making me, it's just making me so, so, so sad that the sport I love, it just seems to be, at the moment, riddled with people that are cruel. And Michelle, I think I know you. You were in, you visited Simon and I uh, here in the studio. You're a massive Arsenal fan and you pay a lot of money to travel and to see your yeah. team. But are you saying to me, as a result of this, you're kind of falling out of the love of the game? Yeah, I I, I, can, I was, last week, I, I just felt all the money that Sims that bought at the moment as well, or has been for a while, and how they behave during the pandemic. It's lots of little things, Jim, that have just, just I think, accumulated to, to this now. And I love animals. I love them more than I love humans. They have an unconditional love that you just can't get from humans. I'm sorry, but you can't. And it's just, it just feels to me like I, I should be watching, looking forward to the football coming back. But actually, I don't even want to listen to talk sport. I don't want to, li- and that's not talk sports for. I just want a break from sport. I want a break from football, and I want a break from hearing about all these people that are doing. It would seem, and maybe in a year's time, would be proven that they're just hurting people and they're hurting yeah, animals. Yeah, but Michelle, <laughs> Michelle, the other side of the argument is you are not privy to the amount of things that footballers do do good things. No, You're not privy no, to the no. subject matter of football. You, you cannot. Take Kurt Zuma's individual behaviour and XYZ individual behaviour, whether it's Jack Grealish in lockdown or something, and superimpose it across the entire four or five thousand footballers, with many of them going out to, to but you children's can hear homes. Simon and Michelle's voice. I know, but there has to be balance in things. I've had a final word from you, Michelle. On you go. And Simon, I understand that. And I, I think you, as I've said to you personally, you give balance. I, I understand that, what you're saying. I know there's so many footballers out there that do so many good things. And I, I read, Jack, I saw Jack Beelish doing something amazing the other day to a young lady who loved him. Yes, I he saw really, that. Yeah. I understand that, Simon. But at this point, how I feel now, it's just, it's just awful. Michelle, I want to thank you. Thank you so much for for joining us and we'll speak again very soon.